A popular idea when you start to learn how to grow your business, market yourself, is that you should create an irresistible offer. So let's talk about that for a bit. What does it mean to create an irresistible offer? Now, I, I really uh, don't like this language because to consciously create an irresistible or what you believe will be an irresistible offer for your ideal client means that you are consciously manipulating the person who's reading or watching your offer. And I don't feel that we need to do it. And number two, do we really want to do that? Because if you knew that you were being consciously manipulated by someone else's irresistible offer, how would you feel? Most of us would feel creeped out by it, honestly, and we would have less trust in that person. So I'm going to suggest that we don't have to, and we, you know, those of us who recall out the idea, we really don't have to try to create an irresistible offer, but we still can have one. And I'll tell you how. Um, I think about, you know, let's think about um, someone that you care about, someone that you, uh, you really adore. Uh, maybe it's a child. Maybe it's a pet. Maybe it's a loved one, a friend, etc. Now, that person that you really care about and adore, just about everything they do, especially if it's like children, right? Just about everything they do is, is adorable to you or is, is likable to you. And if they made a request of you, you would, of course, try to do everything you can to help them, to accommodate them, to play with them, right? That is an irresistible offer, but it happens by an, a repeated relationship of trust. So producing instant trust through your copywriting and through your videos or whatever is creepy. But when you have a repeated interaction that's trustworthy, and therefore trust is created, then that's no longer creepy because you've seen this other person to show up again and again and again in a way that is trustworthy. And that is my, uh, the method I'm always trying to teach about how marketing can be. Authentic marketing is to show up reliably, consistently, authentically with care so that your audience not only can see, but experiences again and again and again, your trustworthiness. And so here I'll, I'll tell you what, I have a hidden motive in everything I'm doing when I do my marketing and when I teach you my marketing, I have a hidden agenda. I'll tell you what it is. So it's no longer hidden. I'm actually trying to encourage you, inspire you to do the kind of marketing that turns you into a trustworthy person. That's my hidden agenda. I'll, I'm outing myself. I really see marketing as a path of personal development. I don't see marketing primarily as you got to do this thing so you get your next client. It happens naturally that you'll get your next client if you become a reliable, trustworthy, authentic value creator. It just happens. You see what I mean? So this is why I always talk about authentic marketing, joyful productivity. I want you, I'm try, I'm always trying to inspire you, encourage you to become consistent with creating authentic value. Authentic value just means you show up today and share, share of your genuine care. Whatever you care, uh, to, to, you know, that something special happened to you or something interesting that you want to say that might be helpful to your audience something interesting you want to create that might be entertaining or delightful to your audience. You show up, you practice not judging yourself. You practice ignoring the fear that others might judge you. This is all practice. And this is all part of becoming a genuinely trustworthy, authentic creator. And if you keep practicing like this, you can't help but build an audience who trusts you. And if you build an audience that trusts you, all you got to do is whisper and you will sell lots of whatever you want to sell without having to try to persuade. Again, uh, just like the person that you, you adore, you become someone 
a presence that they trust and that they adore because you've earned that trust. And so when you want to sell something, you just whisper like I do these days. I, when I sell something, it's very gentle and I make plenty of sales. Well, because not because I'm a clever copywriter or whatever, there's nothing wrong with good copywriting. Obviously it's great, but paired up with an earned trust you don't even have to be that great at your copy and you will sell plenty. So I hope this is helpful as a way to shift your idea of what marketing can be. I hope that this is uh, helpful. And as always, I'm open to your questions and your comments below. Thanks for joining me.